All right, guys, before I start the video, I wanted to give one of my subscribers a shout out. Her name is Amber, and I don't know if you know her. Amber, she is Jaime Eats' daughter. So it's her birthday today. I just want to give her a special shout out before I do this video outside for you guys. This is a different day, by the way. Amber, happy birthday. Let us know in the comments below what you did today, and have a great day, Amber. All right guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are trying something new at Applebee's. It's called a Rista Bowl. They have four different ones. There's two chicken, I think, one steak and a shrimp. And I got the shrimp. So the shrimp has, um, it's shrimp, rice, cilantro sauce, guacamole, tortilla chips, pico de gallo, corn and black beans, and one lettuce. So let me guys show you a close up. All right guys, here's a close up on the shrimp bowl. It's guacamole, we have the pico. Uh, the corn, beans, shrimp, with some cilantro, some rice, and some tortilla chips. Looks really good. So yeah, these are new at Applebee's. Only $7.99, but I would give it a try. The steak is $9.99, but the chicken and shrimp is only $7.99. I love shrimp. I'm surprised the shrimp is only $7.99. I think it's a great deal. I'm filming in my sister's backyard. I hope it's kind of windy. I hope you guys can still hear me. Yeah, I'm going to speak up. So I found this um, idea. I heard about these bowls from a YouTuber. He does food reviews. His name is The Endorsement. I don't know if you ever heard of him. Um, he definitely needs more subscribers. He has really good content, guys. I like his food reviews because I just feel like the, he's, he's very short, precise, and to the point. Some food reviews are just really long, and I just like his food reviews. So after, um, now he, when he did his video, he said his lettuce is really big. I don't think mine is as big, so he had to go ahead and cut it. So I think they screwed up on his order. When this video uploads, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to um, just send him a message, say, hey, check out my video. <laughs> and to drink, we are having some emergency. I'm craving something a little healthy. That's good. Let's try this shrimp bowl. Let's try some shrimp first. <laughs> That was good. Mm. It's nice flavored. Ooh, a little spicy. But it's really good. Mm. That's a good deal. There's some guacamole. I might mix it. See, my lettuce is really small. I just watched the endorsement video, his lettuce was so big. He had to literally cut it and come back. So, let's try some guacamole and shrimp. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So good. It's very healthy too, low carb. I am gonna mix it a little bit though. It's so good. Oh my god. Fresh shrimp. Mm. So yeah. You guys are having a great day today. It's just a very nice windy day today. It's a nice one today, but it's a little cold or windy. So last week I filmed the Jimmy and John's video in this location. I was trying to edit it up to the video today and it looked really good quality. So I go, you know, I'm gonna do another video out in my sister's backyard. I used to live here by the way. You guys are new, and every so often, if the kids will be out of town or they would go away, I would film out here. Because if I, if I film when the kids were here, they they want to come, it'd be loud, and it'd be crying crazy. <laughs> kind of miss filming out here, it's just really quiet, peaceful. Not 
Oh, this is really good. Really good. I wanted like a low carb option or something healthy for lunch and seven nine seven ninety nine. Sometimes I go to McDonald's and I'll get like a Big Mac fry a drink. That's like ten bucks. So this is so cheap. And healthy. And really good. I would say this is mildly spicy, so if some people can't tolerate mildly spice, like my mom, if you're watching, you may not like this. I, I don't think you would like the spice. It's For me, it's mildly spicy, but my mom, I don't think she can tolerate any spice. <laughs> but yeah, it's really good. You know, I would kind of maybe want, want like maybe some salsa or some sauce or something, like red sauce. It has like tomatoes, but it is like guacamole, but maybe some sauce, but overall it's still really good, really healthy. Mm. So last Sunday I did instant cart. I, I wasn't, I didn't really want to do big order, but I was like, oh, it's just down the street for me. It was 17 items, but it's really more than 17 items because they wanted like 10 different greater aids, but it's really more than 17 items because they don't count the quantities, so like they wanted like three or four or five different Gatorades, all different flavors, ten quantities, ten corns, for example. So it was a lot. It was like, but it was a hundred bucks. The silver with Instant Cart, like the orders, you can make pretty pretty good money in one order, but then the lousy in the other order. Like for example, last week I just picked up two items at Rite Aid and I made um, twelve bucks, seven dollars for the order, five dollar tip. So I was like, I think it took around 35 minutes. Well, it wasn't too bad, I guess. But this order was 17 items, but I didn't really look at the quantities and, and you know, they didn't have any, a lot of stuff in stock. So I was literally in the store for almost two hours trying to find the items. Some some of the items I, like the chips were in the chips were in the deli department, you know, so it's kind of hard to find. I couldn't find the pumpkin, um, can of pumpkin, so I had to ask for help and then, and I had to text the customer, they don't have this, they, they want, there was a chicken, they didn't have this brand, they didn't have this Gatorade flavor, do you want this one? And she didn't get back to me right away, so it's kind of hard, and it was different, this order was pretty difficult, but I only made, she gave me like a $5 tip, and I think I made $9 on the order, so total was 14 so $14 for almost two hours of work, it's not worth it. So it's so weird how like it's a carp. The other order I did last week, I made 12 for 35 minutes. That was worth it. So I think I'm gonna do, if I do it again, maybe like 10 items or less or something like that, or maybe look at the order to see if there's any quantities. But, and then I was carrying it to her car. And I was carrying all the bags, there were six bags. And the um, the Gatorade, um, they put the Gatorade bag, the Gatorade bags were so heavy. And I was like, oh my God, it was hurting my right shoulder, but I'm just not gonna do it, you know? And later that night, I was having some shoulder pain from carrying those bags. <laughs> it was just really heavy, like, oh my god, Gatorade is so heavy. Like, oh my god. So, um, it was difficult. I don't, I really want to do Uber Eats instead, because I feel like Uber Eats, you just go get the food. They're not heavy. <laughs> the food usually is ready. It should be ready with Uber Eats. And it, it's just more simple. And, um, I'm hearing people are tipping a lot more lately on the food delivery apps, especially since this virus hit. So I, I've been hearing the tips are the same or more than, the, than what you get paid to deliver the order. So that's good. So yeah, that's the story. It's a car. I don't think I'll do it again unless it's like 10 items or less. So guys, I think I know why I'm having some back pain. I think why my shoulder's been hurting me. I think I know why. I think I figured it out. 
and it's a pretty simple fix, I think. <laughs> And I've been seeing acupuncturists and a chiropractor care, and it's probably maybe 20%, maybe 30 but I've been seeing a chiropractor for a month, one, every Monday for a month, and I feel good, but not, it should be 100% better, I think. The reason why I think I have shoulder pain and back pain is because soda. I have to drink a lot of soda, guys. I really increased the soda the last six months and I just realized wild cherry Pepsi gives me so much energy it's crazy I just feel so good drinking it and I just bought a bunch of cinnamon coke <laughs> this limited edition and I, th I think I'm gonna you know I have so I have cinnamon coke and Pepsi in my refrigerator I think after that's gone I don't think I'm gonna drink Pepsi oh yeah I mean I'll, I'll still drink soda like if I go to fast food or on occasion but I don't think I'm just gonna stock it up in my refrigerator. Um, and I remember when I used to have back pain, I worked at Target and I would have two Cokes a day. And I remember when I didn't eat very healthy. So I think, I think this soda, and I also be eating a lot of candy. Ever since I've been working at Walmart, I just, I've been, maybe it's just a Walmart, I don't know, maybe I need to get rid of the Walmart job. So I can feel like this one. So I work at Walmart and like when I leave I'll get some candy or chocolate. I just love chocolate to stock up. Um, and I've been drinking soda more because it's giving me more energy and I'm more tired because I'm working two jobs so it's really hard on my body. I'm going to reduce the soda, not buy it, or only on occasion maybe. I just think, I think it's the sugar. Because when I was at my sister's house, I didn't really have, I never really bought cans of Coke or Pepsi like that, you know? But I would eat a lot of fast food, like a lot, and it was really hard to cook at my sister's house. So... But I, I feel like since I have my own place, I am cooking healthier. I'm eating healthier. I'm cooking more more foods. I used to meal prep low carb food. I'm, I might continue to do that again. Yeah, I want to start eating more healthier. And I don't want to go crazy. I just do low carb like every single day. I've done that before. And um, with me, if I do that, I do get low. If I do low carb every day, I get headaches. I get my energy is lower because the carbs give you energy. And, and then now I'm always craving something that I shouldn't like pasta or carbs. My body just craves it so much. I don't want to go crazy on the low carb, but I do want to encourage myself to cook more healthy and eat more healthy. Let me know if you guys want any healthy videos. I might get to that. I'm trying to figure out what I can eat that's healthy that for you guys. And I feel like if I do a low carb video, you guys wouldn't, wouldn't like that that much, but I don't know. Maybe you would. I actually love a shrimp. Actually, I could do more shrimp videos, huh? But that's a low carb option. You know what I want to do? White corn is really in stock right now. I want to buy some more corn, but I think what goes good with white corn? I'm thinking like a barbecue. I want to do like a barbecue dinner, barbecue chicken, corn, maybe a salad, baked potato. Something kind of healthy, not. I don't want to do too many carbs, but I'm going to do it good. Now we're, all the shrimp's gone, <laughs> but this is so good.
I also been having low energy lately too. I'm like, why am I having low energy? I work a lot less hours now. I used to work 11 p.m. till at Walmart, five days a week. I reduced my hours. I only work until nine, four days a week. Don't do Reiki healing anymore. So I'm definitely work a lot, a lot, a lot less than I used to, a lot less. Like, what, and I'm more tired. Like, why am I more tired? <laughs> so as I, as I was searching about soda, Apparently, and it can cause inflammation in the body. It can cause muscles to be stiff. It can also cause low energy. So it makes sense. And if I want to do these app gigs, so just to try it out. Maybe make make some videos and stuff. Do something for the fun of it. I need more energy, so I think I need to start eating a little healthier. Kind of hard to start a mukbang channel because everybody wants to eat everybody everybody wants to see fast food so it's kind of hard and they get the most views anyway so Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day today and stay safe out there. Peace.